Have you seen the latest iPad activity seat from Fisher & Price? This device was released in late 2013 and has caused an absolute controversy amongst child psychologists, parents and early childhood educators. It has raised and invigorated a whole debate about when is the right time to introduce children to technology. When should we be dunking children into this digital world? Hi, my name is Dr. Christy Goodwin and I'm going to answer the question, is there a magical age at which we should be introducing young children to technology? Sadly, like most parenting decisions, it's not a black and white issue. We don't have a magical number where it is safe or appropriate to start to introduce technology. These children today are no doubt leading a technologized, living in a technologized world and will inherit a highly digital world. But does that mean we need to rush to introduce them to technology? I'm going to give you two considerations that you need to contemplate before you hand technology over to your child so that you can make an informed decision. Consideration number one. We have research evidence that suggests that children don't tend to learn from media until at least around the age of two years. This is why the American Academy of Pediatrics in their screen time guidelines actually discourages media use before two years of age. We know, for example, that young children don't understand narrative structures, which are story structures, until they're about 18 months of age. However, we have some preliminary research and it's only in its infancy, but it is suggesting that young children may learn more from more interactive types of media. So for example, iPhones and iPads and other tablet devices. However, we don't have a clear cut answer yet. The second thing that we need to consider before handing over our device is what do developing brains need? We have a wealth of knowledge from the neuroscientists that tells us there are some vital ingredients that young brains need. I'm going to share three of those vital ingredients now and explain how technology can support those. First and foremost is that young children as social beings need rich interactions with parents or caregivers. They need what we call serve and return interactions. They also need another vital ingredient is physical movement. Young bodies and babies need to explore what their body is capable of doing. It literally wires the brain to learn. And the third ingredient that young developing brains need is rich language, rich interactions. They need to hear and use language. And the good news is that technology can facilitate and support these three vital ingredients. For example, you may be having a Skype camp conversation with grandma who lives overseas. You might read a book app with mum or dad. You might sing nursery rhymes on the internet, or you might perhaps sit and look at mum or dad's smartphone at the photos and talk about some of the things that you have seen and done. These are all really valid and safe ways to interact with young children using technology. But the vital ingredient here is parental involvement parents have to be actively involved whenever they introduce technology to their children. It is absolutely critical that parents engage and talk and ask questions when they're using technology with young children. It should not be the digital babysitter. And I think that's the real danger of the iPad activity seat is that it lends itself to being the digital pacifier. So unfortunately, I can't give you a magical age, but I have given you two important considerations to contemplate before you hand over that tablet or smartphone. Thank you. For more information about how children learn and develop in a digital age, feel free to subscribe to um, Raising Digital Kids, which is a weekly newsletter with latest tips and advice for parents and, and teachers who are helping young children navigate this digital world. Thank you. Thank you.